Next I have actually a pair of polishes. So technically I have 18, but these are basically exactly the same polish. Uh, this, this one here is from Essence. Uh, this one is Chrome Paradise. And this one is from the Simple Colors Kylie Trend Matters line. This one is Constellation. I bought them both this year and didn't realise until I was doing something else that they're basically the same Porsche. Although the Kylie one does actually dry matte, so I guess it, they're, they're different from that point of view, but colour-wise. Honestly, the formula is not that much different either. The essence one might be just a little bit better. <laughs> basically, it's same polish. <laughs> also, from essence, I have two more essence polishes. We have this one, which is from the Icy Matte collection. This is Icy Ice. I know Polish Pony really likes this one. <laughs> I've been trying to find another bottle of it, but I can't find it, so... Again, these, like, first coats don't look great. Um, <laughs> the other one from Essence is also from the Icy Matte line. This is Mist Frost. This is the most gorgeous red nail polish. These do have an ever so slightly textured finish when you're done um, and they do look a little different matte to how they look wet but you could put top coat on. Then we have from China Glaze, um, I picked up several of their holographic polishes this year so I'm just going to show one, it's like the line in general that I particularly like. Uh, this one is Astro Hot, it's the pinky purple one. And the other one is actually their Crinkle Chrome line. I picked up a few more to add to my collection this year. This one is Don't Be Foiled, which is kind of the tealy version of it. I know not everybody likes these, but I happen to love them. The kind of polish you really want to get it done in one coat, um, they don't layer very well. That one's not going to need another coat. <laughs> then I have two Essie polishes, which would be a massive surprise to everybody because Essie is not my favourite brand. But I happened to get two this year that I absolutely love. Picked up this one randomly in a bulk sale with a whole bunch of other brands and stuff. It's one of the Gel Couture line or whatever they call them. Um... I don't actually remember what colour this is, hang on, oh, turn and pose, that's what this one is, super dark purplish colour, but I'd heard so much good stuff about this line that I thought I need to at least give it a try, and I was actually quite impressed. And then we have one that I have been, it's been on my lemming list for a little while. Um, <laughs> this one is on a silver platter. Polish Pony was like, you have to get this polish, you have to get this polish. And I thought I had it at one stage and um, I delayed just a second too long and it got sold out. But then I found it again. Um, I wasn't going to pay full price for it, but I really did want it. And Polish Bunny was right. It is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we'll go back to the glitter one that I was talking about that I'm going to put over Gargantuan Green Grape. This is Mermaid's Tail from Orly. Um, I actually ended up sponging this on my own nails. It was a beast to get back off again, but it is so pretty. Then I have five, yes, five Revlon polishes that I picked up this year. All of them were quite impressive. Um, I picked up other ones, which I wasn't so impressed by, but these ones I was impressed by. The first one is this purple one with darker purple glitters in it. This is magnetic. Next one is also another glitter. This is Untamed. I wore, I, this was another one that I wore during the Untried um, challenge thing. Then we have one that is not a glitter, it's just a cream. This is a Carioca Crush. Oh, that colour. Just beautiful. From the top speed line, this is electric, which is a absolutely a gorgeous yellow with a gold shimmer to it. If you do a thick coat of most of the top speed ones um, and finesse it right, you only need one coat which is fantastic. And one coat yellow. Uh, yes, please. I'll probably still do another coat on it though. Because I can see a little tiny bold patch. Like, up the top there. And lastly is a perennial classic from Revlon. This is Cherries in the Snow. Um, I only got it this year. In, or 2017. So... <laughs> I'm a little late to the game, but this is a fantastic polish. This is literally a one coat polish. Absolutely fine. I wish all of Revlon's had this formula. Just one coat, done. So I'm going to put another coat on the ones that need another coat, and then I will be back. Okay, so I am back. I have put another coat on all of these polishes. Um, two coats in the case of Heirloom, because it actually is quite a thin polish. But anyway, um, so we will go back around through them just to recap. So this one here. I'm trying to wake up with my cameras. This one here is Mermaid's Tail from Orly. Um, this looks great if you sponge it because it is pretty base heavy. Um, if you want full coverage, you can get full coverage. As I said, it is a pain to get back off again. Then we have Bouquet from uh, Ulta 3. It's such a beautiful colour. And then we have a Mermaid's Tail from BYS. As I said, they say this is the holographic line. It is clearly not holographic, but it is so beautiful. Uh, then we have a Rose Cashmere from L'Oreal. It looks a lot more pink on the nail than it does in the bottle. Which is probably why I was surprised by it, because it looked quite good in the end. Then we have Heirloom from Ciate. 
I don't know why, but I just really like this polish. I only own like three Ciate nail polishes. Then we have the pair that is basically the same polish that is these two right here. This one here is the Sinful Colors one. It dries matte-ish. This one is the Essence one. The particle size is probably slightly bigger in the uh, Sinful Colors one. Um, but basically they are essentially exactly the same polish. They just, they just are. Um, and if you want to have more, like if you happen to have this one, have the Sinful Colors one, you just put top coat on it and you get Chrome Paradise from Essence. And vice versa. It's, yeah. So, these two are the same. <laughs> Different finish, same colour, same idea, same everything else. Uh, then we have I see, I see Ice from Essence. This looks, if you're wondering what it looks like with Top Coat, it looks, surely looks like that. Yeah. How it is wet is how it is when it's got Top Coat on. Um, and also Miss Frost, which is this amazing red. Again, Top Coat, it just looks like that. Then we have the Astro Hot Holographic from China Glaze. These are actually pretty good holographics. Uh, linear holographic. I'm trying to see if I can get the light to shine on properly. I really like these. They're just a nice, soft, subtle holographic. And the Crinkled Chrome line, uh, Don't Be Foiled by China Glaze as well. I just love those so much. Turn and pose from Essie. And there, as you can see, on the second coat, it gets a lot, lot darker. On a silver platter, also by Essie. Thank you, Polish Pony. It is absolutely fantastic. You are absolutely correct. It is gorgeous. Magnetic from Revlon. Uh, it's right up my colour alley, which is probably why I really like it. Untamed by Revlon. It's on here. It's, it's the kind of brown that I will wear because it's got something else going on in it. Karaoke Crush, also from Revlon. Just the most gorgeous dark blue with a touch of green. Electric from Revlon as well. Probably would benefit from a top coat. Would make the shimmer in it stand out a little bit more. Um, but it is actually a really, really good yellow polish. As I said, if you finesse it right, you can get it done in one coat, which for a yellow is fantastic. And lastly, but by no means least, cherries in the snow. There's a reason this is a perennial classic. One coat Perfection. So those are my top 17 mainstream brand nail polishes for 2017. These are just polishes that I purchased in 2017. Um, I have other polishes that I absolutely adore, but I've had them for ages, so they did not get included in this one. These are all new polishes. <laughs> so, uh, don't forget to check out all the rest of the girls down below and if you've come from one of their channels, hello. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I hope everybody has a fabulous new year and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.